Hello everyone, Pally Chum here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Hope you guys are doing very well today. As always, there has been a massive Rogue Legacy 2 update, and we are currently looking at the new weapons that have been added in. I'm just going down the list. Shadow Spies was last episode. It's a poison dagger for assassins. Very interesting take on the class. Now we're going to be taking a look at the Otherworldly Tamer. When you prefer the company of Otherworld Others, what does that mean? Well, you guys know how much I love the Ronin. Let's check out. It looks like an umbrella. It's called the Casa Obaki. I hope I said that right. Press attack to strike forwards. Hold up attack to float. The umbrella blocks mid-sized projectiles. Skill crits after blocking a projectile. Okay, I'm intrigued. Oh, wow. It kind of sends you forward quite a ways, actually. That's very odd for the Ronin. Oh, and the float is kind of ridiculous. The float seems to do damage the entire way down, or maybe it's just the first time you interact with a target. Very curious. Whoa. Well, we're going to try to clear Axis Mundi. This is the hardest version of Axis Mundi we have ever been to. Not only in the sense that it... it just, oh, those count. So in order to get the skill crit, I have to just... Wow, that was a lot of damage. I have to destroy the projectile and impact with the enemy all in one go. One thing that's actually benefiting this weapon, at least it seemed the so there. Oh, let's try here. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, it actually seems to move the enemy with you. I was worried I'd I'd run into some some problems where I like impact an enemy and then I end up face tanking damage at the same time, but actually seems pretty lenient on that. You can also animation cancel out with a dash very very easily. Although we are taking a lot of damage from this like nullification zone here, uh, those are always just kind of problematic. I believe as one of the burden effects, we are going to. I wonder if I can just remove the cannonballs. I'm going to try. Next cannonball set that comes down. Even if we take damage for it, it'll be worth it for the science, I think. So I kind of want to wait until they're... Okay, floating. Cannot remove the cannonball. Uh, and I do want to see what's in that room behind us. But I guess first, we're going to do some attacking here. That fish... That was what I was afraid of. That exact interaction where I kind of pushed the fish back into me and ended up taking damage as a result. Health is a little low, but hey, we've been experimenting with the new thing. Let's check out this room and see if we can get any food in here. With any luck, we'll also find a relic inside. We find... Take 740... 734 damage, gained 300 health. I'm just gonna eat. We would leave this place with 100 HP with all new environmental effects. No. Not a smart idea. As you can see here, we would have died on the very next area. So I can just kind of skip over that guy with that. I guess I should wait for the barrage to happen. God, that's so counterintuitive. That's, that goes against how I've been playing this for months and months and months. Oh, God. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, so if it is a flying enemy like that, do I... Do, oh, he's immune. Do I want to... Like, float? Yeah, I mean, sure. Can I make them take damage again? I can. But I can't descend very quickly, so even... I was carrying a, a critical hit that entire time. So if I can float and absorb one single projectile, that's all I have to do, I can then theoretically critically hit for a crazy amount of seconds after. I actually think this setup might be really good against the third boss. Tons of projectiles on that fight. And it's a super high arena where you can continue to float for quite a while. Well, with our quenching room, we do manage to heal up. I can completely protect myself here 
uh, from everything other than these cannonballs. As these mages are trying to send stuff through the walls, we're actually very well off there. Uh, back up to full health as well. Looks like there might be a chest above us. <laughs> we can just float right on up to it. Look at that. Not bad at all. Uh, this guy is making everyone else immune to damage, but we just walk right in there and give him the Mary Poppins treatment like it's nothing. They also changed how those ramps work. Uh, it used to be two rows of black roots on the left and right. It looks like it's just a single uh, now. I want that. Perfect spell for us here, actually. Phenomenal spell for us here, actually. Okay. Uh, we still have the amplification room from our last run, so we have increased... Ooh, thought I could get to it a little faster. Increased duration on all of our damage over time effects. So the ability to just pop and deal damage over time like that is super valuable. I don't know what did damage to me. I didn't attack, so I didn't trigger the trap. This guy just shred a little bit of my armor. That is super bad. Uh, some spells running towards me. Even though I'm hopping forward with this, I'm technically not losing contact with the floor there, so it's not triggering the trap. That was, again, the interaction I was afraid of happening a lot, which seems to be rare. I'm not sure why sometimes I bump into him and... Sometimes I don't. I think I just need some more time with the weapon. We can just go ahead and remove these. <laughs> oh, that's so good! Okay, I need to use the hover more. I need to use the hover more. That's so excellent. Oh, this guy's immune. Now, that's actually a super scary room. We might see if we can uh, skip over this one, maybe. There's a chest in there. I want the chest. Don't get me wrong. I got to find another route where I can attack, though. I don't even see the exit for this place. It must... <gasps> oh, I didn't see that zombie either. Must be underneath. Uh, Starfish here was kind of blocking our way. This guy's just above what I can tack. Oh. We're good. Hover. We're good. Push in now. Good. These guys are immune. Oh, I don't know, dude. I think I skipped that. I think I skipped it entirely. Our health is too low. This TNT guy is not who I want to see right now, but we do use the blue projectiles from above to finish him off, and a couple quick kills have our health back in a better spot. This is a really cool play style. Now, the question is, is this Ronin bias, or is it actually really this fun? <laughs> Once I saw there wasn't a, a guaranteed crit range, I started to like question whether or not I was going to like this. But first impressions, I think it's actually more fun than the poison uh, assassin that we were playing last time. Teleporter is going to be 81,000, so we're not going to make any money off this run. But hey, at least we have the teleporter after that, right? We're halfway through our journey right now as we continue to the east. Uh, who's making these guys immune, I wonder? Come over here to the wall. Let me attack you where you can't do anything to me. In fact, oh, say in fact, that'll make it even better. Let's go ahead and get some poison on him. That might help out. Might be enough to kill him as well. He shredded my armor too, didn't he? That mother trucker. Uh, trying to push the advantage here. That skeleton did do damage to me. So I was over the platform that he fell back onto, which is why our hitbox is intersected. Okay, I'll start looking out for that interaction. I can make it through those cannonballs. We don't have to stop our momentum. Oh, what a shot! 80 health remain as that archer almost ends the run. This is close. Can we get some food in here? Oh, that'll help. Yeah, potions are very happy. <laughs> Fuck! Lose no health. Well, the challenge hadn't started yet, so we're okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, what if I just... <laughs> I trusted you! Oh, God. Uh, might be able to kill this bat before he does, does too much damage. We're going to have Seekers coming out here. We can use that to our advantage. And the chicken gods have heard our plea and have left some food for us here. Thank you, chicken gods. Merci ah, merciful chicken gods. These Seekers are doing too, ah, too much damage. I need to bail. This room isn't looking any better, though. 
Ah! Oh god. Just leave. Just leave. I think I'm okay. Wow, I actually killed that ember that was coming in. I'm kind of surprised by that. I thought that was going to be a lot more of a, a problem. Okay, if I take trap damage, I am going to die. If I take cannonball damage, I am going to die. Chicken gods heard the prayers yet again and have come to save me. That's why we praise the chicken gods here. That's exactly why. They always help out. Uh, Ronan dashed through that. That was close. I, I've gotten a little bit of practice with it with the last few ones, though. My timing wasn't perfect when we started. It's getting, getting a little better. A little better. Uh, health back up to 900. Things are still pretty sketchy here, though. Might be able to deal some damage. Oh, that Seeker just clipping me in the side instead of hitting the umbrella. I like that combo where you can hit someone from the side and then immediately hit them from underneath. That seems like it'd be pretty good. Uh, trap damage once again hitting me for 200. We are in a bad spot here. No! We're at the halfway point again with brand new maps. I did not lock in the castle. So we are going to have some extra chests ahead of us. That'll be good to find. That guy shot a fireball at me at the wrong time, and he paid the price. We got that critical hit right after. Lose no health. That should be super straightforward. Oh, and why is nothing straightforward? Nothing! This mana absorption thing would actually be really good on uh, Mage, I think. If you could just have a class that absorbs or generates mana very, very quickly, I think that could be excellent. Uh, we do have an elite on the other side of the wall here, and he is going to go immune to damage. He's also firing his own arrows at us, so let's try to wait for those openings. Oh, I wanted to carry over the critical damage. Couldn't quite do it. Uh, tried to run and dash there to avoid some incoming damage, but it wasn't necessary. Hey, I did hit that one from above. Here we go. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Dodge it. Perfect. Perfect. Take that, wind wall! I have wind wall on my weapon! Hey, that was actually a really hard enemy. I feel pretty good about that one. Moving in on this ranger down here should be a cakewalk in comparison. We finish it off with the Ronin dash. We have some projectiles piercing through the walls coming in from the right. I'm not sure what's sending it, but that was really good. We'll just break those arrows down with another dash. Hey, buddy. <laughs> we hit so hard when we're fighting mages. Okay, cannonballs, we're chilling, chilling, chilling. I wanted to use the trap on the way back. I just messed up that timing just a little bit. That was so close. Uh, Spectre above us, we can use those for the increase. That's perfect. Just don't make this thing in the middle mad. We don't even need to attack. There's no reason for it to get angry at all. Wait until the fireballs, then ride those up. That's <laughs> getting kind of fun. The whole, like... Normally, you'd be avoiding conflict when a lot of these spells are happening, but we're actively seeking out conflict, like when this cannon's gonna be shooting. Very strange way to play, but I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, anything for me in here? We, I heard these are a lot harder. This is the challenge room. We're already seeing some changes with the environmental effect thrown in here. Having to dodge some stuff will certainly make it harder. Uh, didn't get the critical hit on that dash forward, but that's okay. Hammer above us. We hit it kind of hard. The middle of the room seems to be relatively safe. Dancing around these traps hasn't been that big of a deal so far. Good damage on him. These guys are immune. That's going to take a little more effort. But it wasn't a whole wave of bunnies or anything. It was just the one nice critical hit transfer onto that guy up top. Hey, a little too much damage in the corner. They basically said that they wanted these to be more of a decision whether you would or would not participate in these challenge runs. And I am happy to see that because up until this point, we always kind of just thought of them as free health. We would always leave these significantly healthier than what we came in at. And uh, already we're disproving that, it feels like. That elite proving to be a little difficult there. Decent upward damage. <gasps> Oh, it's like a midway checkpoint! Oh! 
Uh, we don't know what the monkey paw does. It's probably really bad. Let's check it out. New relic for us. It is gain five bonus rerolls per monkey paw uh, and disables room reroll cap. Okay. Probably not something we're going to utilize here too much unless we happen to find a relic room or another spell replacement. The two lover, lovers empathy, that's just a challenge that I need to actually do because we need some more of this dragon soul currency to unlock more weapons. So those empathies are welcomed at this point. Well, we did leave pretty healthy, all things considered. That apple room at the end certainly did help out. And I love the fact that there's relics tied to those now. That really does make me want to do them a lot more. Uh, decent upward attack there. Saved me from hitting the wall. We're going to have to piss off this thing, but then grab that chest before we make it mad. Uh, I was just going to... Didn't see that cannonball there. I was just going to move to the right, but I wanted to break that stuff to see if there's anything for me. Ended up taking a little bit too much damage. Once again, waiting for that electrical pul uh, pulse. That resonating orb, whatever you want to call it. Hey, you can actually do quite a lot of maneuverability with the air with this upward umbrella. Impressive. That's fun. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Uh, this guy is going to have some timed immunity at the end. I'm taking way too much damage here, unfortunately. He's not going to heal us up for anywhere near enough either. I feel like I'm getting less health back per enemy killed, and I'm not sure why that is. 94 seems low. I feel like I was getting over 100 previously. Uh, that could just be me, though. That that may not be something that was actually adjusted. Hey, here we go. Uh, while above 50% health, deal 10% more spell and weapon damage. Uh, consumes 150 mana per block. This won't work with our current setup. Because of the mana Aegis, we're already losing health when we take damage, so we're never going to have 150 mana. We would have to find a way of... Imp That's gonna be really good. Poison damage on attack. That means we can hit these guys, deal damage over time, and then kite away while killing their projectiles. Uh, that's excellent. We can't apply the, the poison super quickly, but I think it will complement what we're trying to do quite nicely. And I mean, I could just spam a couple upward attacks in a situation like that and get that poison applied relatively quickly, I think. Uh, as we go across the gap, an ember is trying to make its way over to me. We kind of hover in place for a little bit, dealing really good damage as we just kind of boop into the bottom of it. That poison might be enough to kill that lamp. I kind of doubt it, actually. Maybe with any luck, it'll make its way down to me. Wait, you can jump with this? It's based on your number of double jumps. You can carry the umbrella up and absorb hits with it to make the critical hit more guaranteed. Oh my god, the more I play this, the more I'm liking it. Hey, take me over to this chest. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. <laughs> we might have to use this for some immunity to dodge this. There we go, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, moving our way over to the right now. This looks like I'm not going to be able to progress too far. Jumping up into that guy's butt does finish him off. Uh, bat here. <laughs> Come here, little bat. Come here. Bro, you have so much control in the air with this class. Uh, we're going to try to absorb that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. So I believe we're almost at the end of this zone. Once we get there, we are going to be fighting one of the prime bosses that you can unlock on New Game Plus. Just in case you're joining us on the channel from picking up the Switch version and wanting to see more of the game, uh, there are hard modes of every boss. And uh, the one we're going to go up against is actually super ad-driven. And they do have a decent number of things they're trying to throw out at the player to be a hindrance. Like, they're throwing bones around like crazy. So we might get good use out of the umbrella. We're definitely going to get good use out of the poison. When we enter the room, we're going to be healed up to full as well. So, cross your fingers. Here goes. First mate, however you say his name. 
I do need to be concerned about the forward momentum carrying me too far. That was the example. So we are going to have to cancel our dash forward with or our attack forward with a dash in the opposite direction. However, hold on. Oh, that is going to be a little difficult. I was going to say, if I can get the critical hit stored, yeah, look at that. I can glide that down for quite a ways and continue to jump to deal that damage. This is such an interesting play style. I just hope I can do it right. All right, so we're going to absorb these projectiles. Oh, there we go. And then just try to hover here. Move over. Hover here. Yeah, there we go. Grab that chicken. We are going to get some ads coming in here now. Uh, that's what our poison's for. I'm going to... Per oh, God. Uh, just kind of hover here again. Oh, okay. That was interrupted. We got it. We got it. Okay. <laughs> the strat is not working. I repeat, the strat is not working. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay. I'll try again. This is proving to be one of the most difficult ways to kill this boss, I think. But I have learned some stuff. So even without the increased critical hits, it's in our best interest to just hover here all the time. We also have an antique this time that's going to increase our critical hit damage. So killing this guy is going to be even easier than normal. Some of the things I'm messing up on is hovering too high. I should just cancel that hover and then reposition right away. I'm just committing a little too long to those kind of holds. Like even when I have that critical hit, I think it's best to just cancel it, get down here and actually do some damage to these guys if I can. That being said, I haven't really figured out how to uh, manage the ads so far. So a lot of this is mostly wishful thinking at the moment. Like this, for instance. I, I held it too long off to the side. Although, if I can take down one of these bosses, we could just get started on the ad phase right now. This is kind of what I mean. I, sp I spend too long kiting around for the perfect umbrella when I should just be doing damage with the umbrella that I have. Uh, unfortunately, that did clip just under us. Uh, try to get out of that side. Uh, both of these guys are pretty weak. The this this pirate right next to us will spawn ads. Yeah, right now. Didn't think I should take damage there. Kind of salty about that one. Uh, the ads are kind of the same deal. We just want to land our critical hit on him as often as we can. But I'm not going to be too stressed if we mess it up every now and then. Hey, good damage. Uh, I do think it's imperative that I take the ads down immediately. Keeping them alive simply makes my life much, much, much more difficult. Uh, we are going to be able to get a critical hit off of this, potentially. Here we go. But then the Seeker coming back around will make our lives a little bit harder. And we still have that add up, so this is probably one that I should let go, but I'm still continuing to ride it out. We might be able to kill the boss with this. Oh... I'm out of jumps. We got to reset that one. We might be able to just hover, though. Good. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we have an add-up still. That's a little spooky. Oh, and we're about to have a lot more. Oh, God. Wow, that was abrupt. Oh, that was very abrupt. Very abrupt. Well, let's get our critical hit here. If they want to be airborne, that's kind of where I thrive at the moment anyway. Trying to kite these seekers out just so they're low enough that I can collect the crit. Uh, dashing through. Another one here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Kill it. <laughs> what a weird... What a weird play style, bro. So strange. Uh, we'll just completely demolish those. We're... Uh, uh, dash away. Flame on the boss. That's fine. Get my crit off that. That was actually super helpful. Hey, I can do good damage to these ads with that. Perfect. So I almost have to play the middle of the boat. Almost. Is he going to seek her when he lands? Okay, I'll go up to him. Perfect. The other side of this thing. Oh, I didn't see that there were bones in play. I need something. Okay, this seeker will work. Uh, no, it won't. We can just do non-crit damage for the moment, though. 
Uh, I'm feeling relatively confident, so let's get the next wave of ants out. Maybe I can kill this guy while he's channeling. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Really good, really good. Perfect. Just hold it. Hold it, we got it. Hold it, we got it. Oh, I wanted that seeker. Give me this one. Yes, there we go. And then I just have to double jump to keep this in play. We got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. That was so hard. Wow. Super interesting weapon to use though. Now this is where you guys come into play again. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you gonna be an umbrella main or are you sticking with the katana that the Ronin is known for? Next episode, we're gonna be checking out another one of the brand new weapons just added into Rogue Legacy 2 and I hope to see you guys there. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe. If you're enjoying the content, hit that thumbs up button. And I am not able to buy this teleporter yet. So I'm gonna go earn some money.